this video to show you how to connect a stockable dryer and washer from 240 obviously you have here the 240 and connect it to 220 so what you need to have is what I did is an old an old wire from an old washing machine uh, you do this kind of hook things right here and uh, the first thing you want to do is disconnect the ground so this is ground this one here is your uh, your black neutral and the other uh, 120 which is red so they took me a while to figure out how this thing works but so what you're going to do is this one by the way as reads here is you can read here if you don't to code do not permit you need to use four conductor power core you, you need to read this this is very important this is one of the basics uh, of this so the original ground you need to disconnect it completely and then you're going to you're going to connect it to your neutral or white which is in the middle and you're gonna find on your core you see they have a long plunk and a short one so all of the the long is the neutral so you follow the the outside the neutral so you keep following the to the end this is very important to do so once you have your neutral your neutral goes on on your uh, on your neutral on the unit so Okay, make sure they are very tight. Then your heart goes to your line two, the line two or, or the red. So what you do, you connect it here. Okay, and then your your ground, you're gonna connect your ground to the ground, you're gonna ground it to the to the unit. Make sure that it's tight. So once again, to recap, your ground goes to the frame. Your uh, ground from original from the machine, you put it on the neutral or the white. Your neutral from your core goes on the neutral, and your heart goes here on the red or number two so why in the two that's because this side i figure that is the one that goes to the uh, power to the washing machine and the other one here goes to your dryer so only you're going to use your washing machine so let's now i have the water already connected here to cold 
uh, attach it to this hose for testing purposes and then I'm going to connect it to the electricity Okay, don't touch anything there, just in case. Okay. There you go, let's see what happened. Boom. Okay. Now, we're going to go here and start... I start testing, so we're going to hit here in, in two. Voila! It's filling. So that's how you do your washer from 240 working in 120.